this is Gregory with Permanent Weight Loss Made Easy, where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today we're going to give some tips on what to do after you've had a really bad day of eating or drinking booze. Now before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also check out my website, which has hundreds of articles and recipes, my two books, which you can find on Amazon, my podcast, The Awakened Man, which is very health related. You can find it on Apple and Spotify. Also, I have the Cinema Rag, which is on movies, if you like movies. And lastly, if you appreciate my content, there's a link for PayPal. So (laughs) this is kind of similar to back in college. Hopefully it was college. And look, if you go to my personal playlist, I didn't drink at all in college. In fact, I've still never been drunk in my life. But in college was the time where, you know, you would stay out late, you would get hammered, you'd be completely drunk, maybe to the point of passing out and you come home the next day and you have a hangover and you feel like crap. And today's episodes of like, like what can you do on the equivalent? Let's say you had a day where you just had a lot of emotional eating and you, you binge ate. Because a lot of people are overweight, binge eat. You binge ate a lot of food, maybe you drank a lot of alcohol and you wake up the next day. And it's, it's not so much as like the body is very good at kind of recuperating, digest, uh, gastrointestinally speaking. But some of it is, is the psychological part. Like you wake up the next day and it's the shame and the self-loathing and the self-hatred that you have for doing what you did the day before. So how can you like get back on the right steps to, to go back to the way you were eating? Well, I mean, the, the obvious one, and normally I leave this at the end, but we can do it at the beginning. The obvious one is Don't have a disordered relationship with food where you're always turning to food to numb something, to soothe the pain, to give you nurturance and nurturance you didn't get from your parents or whatever it is. In that way, you can have an ordered relationship with food so you won't be binge eating anymore. Because food is one of those things, and I've said it about with my own childhood. My father was a big rager, so food wouldn't yell at me. Food was always there for me. Food would nurture me, those ding-dongs and twinkies. But we know, like with a heroin addiction or any drug addiction, it feels good the first time, the second bite, the third bite, the diminishing return on the bites, right? And then you get sick, the self-loathing, but then you, you become hooked on that kind of cycle and it's rent a lot of repeat. So the number one thing to do is don't have a disordered relationship with food. Easier said than done, we have a lot of videos on, on how to address that. Now, if you're looking at like short-term stopgap, one of the things you can do the next day is just do a 24-hour fast. Give your body a time to heal. Don't eat for 24 hours. Don't eat until seven o'clock that night. Or if you wanna go even further, do a 36-hour. Now, I wouldn't recommend you doing this if you've had no experience with fasting. Uh, but I've, I've, you know, I fast daily, but I, I would tell you that even if you don't have an experience with fasting, remember, we can go three weeks without food. And so even if you've had no experience with fasting, you can wake up the next day and be like, yeah, I'll be fine. I'm not going to eat until seven. And sure, you're going to have hunger pangs, especially if you have a very carb-based diet or a diet where uh, you're eating every three hours. Your body is just so used to that. And that's why you have hunger pangs. You don't necessarily have hunger pangs because your body needs the food. Your body can burn off the fat reserves for a long time. But it's that's just the way it's been kind of fed you've you've fed your body that way so it's used to it that's why you have hunger pangs so quickly so even though you might be having having hunger pangs by 10 or 11 o'clock just be like i'm not gonna eat till seven give your body time to heal hydrate 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 in addition to hydrating if you have a dry sauna more than a steam room if you have one of these two things uh in your life or at a gym that you can use get those toxins out get those toxins out and certainly work out i mean these are all practical things but these are all things that you can do in combination. You can do a juice thing for the next three days, isn't that thing? I, I have an episode here, should you juice? And spoiler alert, it's okay to do it like once a month juice fast for a couple of days, but I would not be doing it for several weeks on end. Oh, it's just not practical for you in terms of weight maintenance. But you can do these short-term things like fast and exercise and sweat off the toxins, but really you got to get to the crux and the crux is You don't need three slices of cake. The crux is, I don't need three quarter pounders of cheese that you wolf down in five minutes, right? And look, I'm not judging you. I was there. I did that. I remember having, like, go to the episode when I lived in Alaska. I would have all this food piled on the table. Three Big Macs, four bean burritos from Taco Bell, a gallon of ice cream, 
three slices of cake, just lay it on the table and just ready to go in, right? I was just feeding my pain. And it's the same thing here. Yes, binging gives you short-term pleasure, but long-term it's so horrifically bad for you. And until you can get to the point where you break that chain of having a disordered relationship with food, you might have to do calorie in, calorie out, right? You're, you know you're gonna be taking in a lot of food, so on those days, you gotta burn a lot of food, burn a lot of calories. And maybe do that short-term, but long-term, you gotta get to the core. So guys, the following day after bad eat, just do these things, fast for 24 hours, sweat a lot, and uh, don't eat. Guys, post in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care, God bless, and pray.